Hello there, welcome to Inquiring Minds. My name is Doug and I'm back with today's fountain pen review, a 3D printed fountain pen from John Hubbard of Artcraft Pens in Huntsville, Alabama. John is the originator of the 3D printed Moonwalk pen, which he designed to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission to the moon in July of 1969. John was an engineer for the Apollo missions and worked on the Saturn V rocket built in Huntsville and which propelled Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins to the moon. To the moon, Lois! To the moon? What, what does that mean? Like, like it's funny to hit me so violently my body will fly out of the atmosphere. Well, it's not funny anymore. You can see that review by clicking right up there. He followed that up with another fascinating pen that is also 3D printed, this time in honor of the Mars rover lander. Colonel, the message is, Mars needs women. And you can see that review by clicking right up there too. Well, John's at it again, only this time it isn't space, but music. This is his latest 3D printed pen, and he calls it the piano pen. John tells me this was actually his first pen design, but put it on hold for both the Moonwalk and the Mars rover pens. It is certainly sleeker than the Moon or Mars, and will certainly appeal to lovers of music and fountain pens. This is the standard model, and he has limited editions, some available with 14 karat gold nibs as well. So let's take a look right now. <laughs> So more than a year ago, I was contacted by John Hubbard of Huntsville, Alabama. Now John is, uh, or was, an engineer with NASA during the Apollo program. He worked on the Saturn V rocket that propelled the Apollo 11 and Armstrong, Aldrin, and Collins to the moon in 1969, July. And because he's always been a big fountain pen fan, uh, in his retirement, he developed a 3D printing business, and for the 50th anniversary of the moon landing, he created this 3D printed moonwalk pen, which he most generously sent to me for review. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, it's a pull-off cap, and it has a Franklin Kristoff steel nib in black. It's a cartridge converter pen, and on the barrel, it has either Armstrong or Aldrin's footprint on the moon, and we came in peace for all mankind. Wonderful, wonderful pen in a rickshaw bag. And then he followed that up with the Mars Rover pen. And this is to commemorate the Mars Rover lander, and it has the rover's tire tracks in the Martian surface. And this one is a screw cap, and again has a Franklin Kristoff steel nib and comes in a matching rickshaw bag. Well, John recently contacted me and told me that he had developed another pen, and this design actually predates both of these, but were put on hold for both of these pens. This is another 3D printed pen, and I'm going to open it right now. Since John made the first uh, Moonwalk pen, he decided to name his company Artcraft, and so that's why you see that logo on the front. And I have a little bit of a story for that. So, open it up, and we have another rickshaw bag. We have his card, Huntsville, Alabama, Artcraft Pens. And his email address and telephone number. And here's the pen in the wonderful matching rickshaw bag. What's interesting about this pen is it's not that rough surface that you see on the previous two, but polished very, very smooth. Still 3D printed, but this has this piano motif, the hands on the piano keys, and those keys are raised in texture. It says Artcraft on the bottom, and the cap has a swoop design that matches the swoop design of the keyboard as well. This is a screw top cap, and again, a Franklin Kristoff black steel nib and plastic feed. It is a cartridge converter, all 3D printed, and the pen posts, of course. So, 
I'm very interested in doing a review of this pen. Thank you, John, for sending it to me. I'm excited to try out this pen, put it through its paces, and do a review. The Artcraft Piano Pen Standard Edition. I'll show the features of this pen, some size comparisons and measurements, and then provide a writing sample. And then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. When we compare all three of John's designs, the piano pen stands out for its sleek piano black shiny finish. One of the characteristics of raw 3D printed objects is the rough surface you get if you're printing with PLA. Here's an ink buddy that my son prints and sells on his eBay store. This one is a holder for the Ferris wheel press bottles so they don't tip over. But close up you can see all those printing lines. And even when using a resin 3D printer like that here on my ink buddy that holds a little diamine bottle from the ink vent calendar, you can see that the surface is fairly rough. So if you want these surfaces to be smooth and shiny, you have to invest quite a bit of time in post printing, sanding, filling, painting, and polishing. Both of John's Moonwalk and Mars Rover pens had extensive finishing work done to them to get these marvelous hand-painted textures. The piano pen has been finished to a mirror smooth shine and given a ceramic clear coat finish called Cerakote. John is quick to point out that though he is the owner and creative designer of these pens, he has an entire team of people local to the Huntsville area involved in the finishing of these writing instruments. He has a 3D computer modeling expert, a digital sculpturing expert, an expert in stereolithographic printing, an artist who hand paints the pens, and finally an expert who gives the pen the Cerakote treatment. The cigar-shaped pen is very light in the hand and almost slippery and smooth to the touch. There's no clip, but a clip version is available, and the piano keys and hands design on the barrel are quite deep in the surface. The white keys are hand-painted with acrylic paint. And it says Artcraft under the key design, but the letters are not uniformly deep or thick enough to quickly decipher what it says. The cap unscrews with one and a half turns to reveal the thick 3D printed section and number six size Franklin Kristoff Yovo steel medium nib and black plastic feed. The nib is painted black enamel over steel with the Franklin Kristoff logo laser etched on it. The nib and feed are part of a Yovo nib unit which unscrews for replacement or maintenance. The section is roughly the same size and shape as a Mont Blanc 149. As you can see, if you include the threaded portion of the 149, they are pretty much the same. The piano pen section has the cap threads on the top instead. One thick block thread is all that's needed to cap the pen and acts like a section flare as well. It's a very clever design. The section unscrews to reveal the included top quality Schmidt Standard International Converter. There is no silicone ring on the section nozzle, which means this is plastic on plastic. This has caused me to unscrew the barrel several times while trying to uncap the pen. So I actually went ahead and added a little silicone o-ring, a very small thin one, to that section nozzle. That keeps that section and barrel very, very tight. The inside of the cap shows a step that meets with the section to seal the nib from evaporation. The cap posts deeply but it's quite loose and falls off while you're writing with it. But you have to give it a little bit of a twist to hold it on there. There's only one place where it actually holds on there. There we go. And so now that's on there very nicely and tightly. And posted, that cap is very, very light and doesn't unbalance the pen. The pen is very, very nice and comfortable in the hand, both posted and unposted. And I've posted this by screwing it on there quite tight a number of times and I'm showing no marring of that surface on the barrel at all. That Cerakote finish must be very very robust indeed. There are three editions of the piano pen. This standard not limited edition with or without a clip is $235 or $245 if you add the rickshaw pen sleeve. The chromatic scale edition has a 14 karat gold Yovo nib 
and is limited to 12 pens, one for each note of the chromatic scale, and is $375. There is only one pen per note. The keyboard edition is limited to 88 pens in a numbered series, one of 88, two of 88, etc., and is $270 US. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Artcraft 3D printed piano pen with a Artcraft Moonwalk 3D printed pen, 3D printed pen, 3D printed pen, 3D printed pen. The Mars Rover 3D printed pen, a Jinhao X159, and a Pilot Metropolitan for scale. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. The Mars Rover and the Piano Pen have the same screw thread on the section, but the Moonwalk is a pull to uncap pen. All three of the 3D printed pens have the same steel number no. 6 Yovo Franklin Christoph nib. The X159 has a number 8 size steel nib, and you can see how big all four of these pens are compared to the Metropolitan. Now let's look at them unposted. You can see that all four of these pens are roughly the same size unposted. Now let's look at some measurements, and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Artcraft Piano Pen 3D printed. And it has a number six size Yovo steel nib. Let's check the wetness. And it's decently wet. And it's very smooth with some good feedback. I'd say it's a typical nice Yovo steel nib. This one is in medium. And as the line variation, well, you can push out a little bit, but it's not a flex pen. And the ink today is black. Well, it's Mont Blanc. Mystery black. And the mystery is how Doug can even pronounce Mont Blanc. And the line this nib makes is a 0 0.5 millimeter line which is a western fine or a Japanese fine to medium on my Richard Binder line width chart which you can find linked in the description below and for our quote And for some reverse writing, it's a bit scratchier, but thinner and not too dry at all. And some quick writing. No issues whatsoever. Nice wet pen. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? First, thanks go out to John Hubbard for sending me this marvelous pen for review. I've been fascinated by each of his designs, and this is no exception. While I've always been fascinated by the space race, from when I studied my time-life moon maps during the Apollo 11 landings in the summer of 1969, to the latest amazing developments like the new James Webb Telescope, it is music that has been my greatest joy. My mother was an excellent organist and pianist, and all three of her kids were encouraged to play a musical instrument. I took piano lessons, but was never able to get the piano bench to myself, as my older brother constantly pushed me off it. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. I eventually taught myself to play the guitar at the age of 14.
What's happening here? Imagine there's no heaven, no hell, below us. <coughs> and played and collected guitars for the rest of my life. The piano is, if you'll pardon the pun, the key to all music, in my opinion. <laughs> Forgive the pun. <laughs> what pun? Shut up, he thinks he's witty. And those who love music will love this tribute to playing music and playing the piano, the 3D printed piano pen. It has a deep, shiny black that looks and feels like a Steinway in your hands, or a Bosendorfer, a Beckstein, a Bluthner, or Fazioli, whatever your preference. But it's about a quarter of a million dollars cheaper. And if you send it to a Nibmeister, it'll always be in tune. As a fountain pen, it has a lovely thick girth, a nice light balance in the hand, a lovely section, and a smooth number six size Yovo steel nib. It feels more like a normal fountain pen in the hand than the deeply textured Moonwalk or Mars Rover pens. I've only had one issue with the pen. Several times I've unscrewed the barrel from the section when trying to uncap the pen. I believe that putting a silicone o-ring on the nozzle of the section solves this problem. I went ahead and added a thin o-ring to the section and the problem is gone. And there you have it. Thanks again to John Hubbard for his generous donation of this pen for review. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And you can join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you. For watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.